Ally Technologies, known as Altec, owns Autopage Cellular, Altec, Netstar and UEC and also has investments in East and West Africa telcos. Altec has a market cap of 4.5 billion rand, a price to earnings ratio of 13 and a dividend yield of 5.8%. Paul, Altec not doing pretty well within West and East it Africa right now. It has stumbled around a little bit. But when you look at those assets, I mean, it's got some fantastic uh, real estate in this particular sort of uh, converged space. So Autopage Cellular is a non-network specific uh, service provider and uh, has quite a nice niche and has got a good uh, you know, post-paid contract cell phone subscriber base here in South Africa. Uh, Netstar is a vehicle tracking thing that's done well. It's one of the two leading companies in that space. UEC make all of the set-top boxes for DSTV, you know, and then they've added to it bits and pieces. They bought a piece from Nam, uh, Nampak, Namitech. They've got the East and West Africa thing. But sadly, by one means or another, there always seems to be some part of the business which is not working off too well. And they made a big fanfare about the East Africa businesses and then took big write downs on those. Mm -hmm. And the West Africa business also big fanfare and excitement. And now they've announced that they're actually going to sell it. Mm -hmm. So I think you can see the share hasn't done well in recent years. And I think maybe shareholders are a bit frustrated. But, uh, you know, there's always the scope for a rebound. And as I say, the industries they're in are very exciting. So, Viv, do you see a rebound in uh, Altec right now? I'm not quite as excited as Paul about some of the industries. I mean, in the whole car tracking space, they are being seeing more and more competition coming through. Uh, we're also seeing, you know, some of the, the, the set-up box industry may be a bit more mature. Uh, I, I do think that if you look at, and even the towards the, the non-specific service provider, you know, the towards the, the, the auto page services also may be facing more competition going forward. I do think the company has had a good pass, but I, in terms of some of the things that are going forward, I'm a bit nervous about some of these businesses and some of these industries. So what could be the quicker for this one, Paul? Well, look, the uh, business Altec is 60 odd percent owned by Altron, and that's the Fenter family. So Craig Fenter, the CEO of this one, they have appointed a new COO because I think Craig, I always forget whether it's Craig or Robbie, the brother, who's, be, who's moved to London. I think Craig's actually in London. So a local COO is probably a good thing. So there could be some corporate reorganization there. The other thing I noticed from recent results is that they've struck up quite a close working relationship with Huawei. I think that's the how you pronounce the name of that Chinese company. Uh, H-U-A-W-E-I, well, Huawei, <laughs> <laughs> and that's a very uh, strong company globally in terms of you know network kit and all of that stuff. So I think they've got some uh, real uh, appeal, mm -hmm. um, but I would wait to see what kind of progress they make with regard to the reorganization of the group. The other assets in the other part of the company is Bytes and Powertech and some of those other stuff. So hot or not, Paul? Mm, I'm going to go with not hot on the current sort of slightly mixed picture. Viv, hot or not? Oh, also, um, to mention the highway, or oh, how you pronounce oh, it, <laughs> <laughs> or oh, highway, or okay. highway. Um, this is the same company that was recently accused by the U.S. government of spying, you know, because apparently they, they put a few things in there up on, on behalf of the Chinese government. So they maybe the networks may be compromised by having that. And that may be a negative for that company going forward. Maybe some companies, countries out there don't want to have, you know, Huawei products in their in their infrastructure in case it uh, sends some messages back to Beijing. <laughs> 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 but beyond yeah. that, uh, beyond those, yeah. those, those items, I'm, I'm not hot on the stock because I think it is facing competition in certain areas. It is in certain markets that may be having massive changes coming into the future, and therefore I'm not positive on the stock, so, so I'm not hot. Two not hot, son. I'll take. Uh